Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everybody, and especially for my students in the 11th grade or the second grade of Taruna Vocational School, Farang Sidim Puan. All right, welcome back again to our English lesson. Okay, um, last video we are going to talk about offering something. Okay, offering something, and now. Uh, we are going to talk about some expression. Okay, now let's check it out. Now, uh, the first one we are going to talk about invitation. Okay, for this video, so for my student, please focus because there are many expressions we are going to talk about. Okay, number one, we are going to talk about invitations. We are going to talk about bargaining. We are going to talk about curtainty. We are going to talk about compliment, and we are going to talk about asking and giving opinion with expression agree on disagreement. Okay, so that means there are one, two, three, four, five, and six lessons we are going to talk about. Okay, now let's start one by one. Okay, and number one, we are going to talk about invitation. Okay. Invitation in Indonesian is uh, mengundang, okay? And then, now, for the start, you can say, uh, for the simple invitation, you can say, let's go. You can say, let's go to the restaurant, let's go to the canteen, okay? Let's go play football. Uh, another way, you can say, would you like to come to my party? Okay, for the rest one, we are going to talk later. Okay, would you like to have lunch with me? Or you can say to your, maybe your candidate boyfriend or candidate girlfriend, you can say, would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Okay. And then the rest one, you can say, with pleasure, sure. Okay, that means it's, you say yes. Okay, uh, I'm afraid that I can't. That means you are uh, disclined. Atau menolak undangannya. Alright. Okay. And then there, is, there are some expression how to invite someone. You can say, do you want to go to the movies tonight? Would you like to go to the theater tomorrow? Would you like to be interested in going to the stadium next Sunday? Maybe to go watch football? Okay. How do you fancy going to the restaurant for dinner? How about going to the movies? Care to come over for the lunch? Okay, you can say breakfast or dinner. I was just wondering if I would like to come over for a drink. Would be delayed to have fun for my birthday party. Okay, this is another way how to invite someone. Okay, you can say practice at your home uh, when you watch this video. Okay, now if you want to accepting the invitation, you can say sure. Example, someone say, would you like go to have a dinner with me? So, what time? Okay. Uh, would you like go playing football this afternoon? I love to. Thanks. Come on. Let's do it. You can say something like that. That's very kind of you. Thanks. That sounds lovely. Thank you. What a great idea. Thank you. Sure. What should be there? Okay. That's mean you say yes for the accepting invitation. But if you want to explain, uh, decline invitation, remember, if you want to decline, it's not a big problem. Because maybe you are a tired, a busy, and another uh, reason. You can say, I can't. I have to walk. Oh, this evening is not good. I have an appointment. I'm busy tomorrow. Can I take away and check on that? That's very kind of you. But actually, I'm doing something else this afternoon. Okay, you, uh, if you say, would you like to play football with me this afternoon? You can decline something like this. Well, I'd love to, but I'm already going to out to the restaurant. I'm really sorry, but I've got something else on. I really don't think I can. I'm supposed to be doing something else. So that means you decline. Okay, you say no for the invitation. And remember, if you want to say the invitation, say something like this expression. 
Okay, guys, I think it's about the invitation. Remember, okay, the purpose of this video, we are going to talk first one, we are going to uh, we are talk about invitation. Okay, next, this is example of the invitation. This is the conversation Mike and Anne and the wedding party. And Mike say to you, Anne, do you want to dance? And they say, no, thanks, I'm a bit tired right now. That's mean, Anna uh, declined the invitation of Mike. But Mike, how about have a drink? Sure, I love to. And then Mike uh, invite Anna to uh, drink together. And then Anna accepted. Then say Anna said, sure, I love to. Okay, and then you can practice with your friend this dialogue. Okay, maybe with your friends, maybe with your classmate. Maybe your brother or your sister. Because remember, if you want to practice a dialogue or English, okay, it's no matter with who. Okay? Okay? I think enough about the dialogue. Okay, next. We are going to talk about compliment. Okay. Compliment, it means you are say something good for someone. It means you uh, in Indonesian, kamu memuji seseorang, begitu. Okay? And then you can say, you look wonderful tonight. That's a nice outfit you are wearing. And then respond. If someone say compliment to you, you can say, thank you. Or you can say, thank you very much. Or you can say, how kind of you. Okay, that's very kind of you. Okay. And then, uh, if you want to ask him for the compliment, you can say, what do you think of my new shoes, maybe? What do you think of my new shirt, my new t-shirt, my new... And then people will be, ah, I think that's uh, a wonderful bag, wonderful shoes. Okay, I think it suits me. Okay, do you like my new? This is me asking you the compliment. Okay, then an expression compliment, you can say, wow, fantastic. That's great. I like it. You do look nice. Okay, you have a beautiful bag. You have a beautiful shirt. You have a beautiful dress. Okay. Uh, so what is that? Okay, Mary got a nine English, and then you can say what a clever. Okay, how beautiful the flower. What a beautiful your skull. You can say that's mean. Okay, you give a compliment, and you can say this expression to give a compliment to your friends, to your parents, to your friends, to your brother, sister, classmate, or someone else, okay? And then the next you can say to a compliment, the, uh, the first one of the compliment, you can say thank you, thanks, it's nice of to say that, really, actually, do you really think so? It's very kind of you to say that, thank you, uh, you of my, it's mean, uh, kamu adalah milik, kamu hari ini milik begitu maksudnya itu ya. Okay, this is about the compliment. Okay, guys, we have finished studied about two topic. The first one is invitation, and don't forget. And the second one is compliment. Okay, untuk memuji seseorang. Tadi invitation untuk mengundang. Kemudian this is a compliment. Okay, we have, we have just finished. Uh, we have already finished two topics. Next. Okay, uh, this is a dialogue of the compliment. What a good a motorcycle you have. And then you can say, thank you. I just finished modifying it. You mean this is old motorcycle that you used to drive to school? Yes, it is. It looks a different. What did you do with it? Not much. I had to paint a brighter color and some new accessories. Good job, thanks. And this means Okay, for the first sentence, this is example of compliment. What a great motorcycle you have. Betapa cantiknya, betapa bagusnya, betapa hebatnya sepeda motor yang kamu miliki. And then the rest one is thank you. Okay, this is example of compliment. Next, we are going to talk about bargain for something. Okay, last video we are talk about the offering something. And then, this is the continue of the, this video. Because after you offer, that means you bargain. 
setelah menawarkan biasanya kita akan menawar setelah ditawarkan seseorang misalnya di toko kita akan menawar barang tersebut okay you can say asking about do you want to buy okay you can say do you have any sweater you can change the object do you have any shoes do you have any jacket do you have any bag do you have any pair of shoes okay you can change it it's up to you what are you going to buy is there any sugar you can say change is there any milk is there any coffee is there any uh rice is there any is whatever you can say the object Okay, then asking about the price. How much is it? Okay, how much does it cost? Okay, example, huh? you are going to market and you meet the shop assistant and assistant. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, do you have any pair of shoes? Yes. And then here you are. Ah, uh, how much is it? How much does it? Okay, you can use this expression if you go to market or supermarket to buy something and then don't forget to asking about the size maybe you have your size 41 or 42 but is it maybe smaller or larger you just say that okay do you have any large one example do you uh, if you want to buy sweaters if you want to buy sweaters but the sweater it's too smaller or smaller than you need you can say do you have a large one maksudnya itu kamu punya yang lebih besar or maybe if some uh, if the sub assistant gives you uh, uh, size M but your size is L you can say do you have a uh, um, size L you can say or oh, maybe XL okay and then can I get a small one if the uh, object if the sweater is too large you can just say large and small Okay, this is very the simple expression if you want to buy something. Maybe if you want to buy sugar, okay, you want to buy coffee, or whatever you want to buy. You can use this expression. Okay, guys, don't forget, we have some topic for this video. So still focus. Remember, the, uh, the, the topic one is about the invitation. Uh, how to expression how to express the invitation and then number two we are talk about the compliment and number three we are talk about the bargaining atau menawarkan sesuatu menawar sesuatu atau membeli sesuatu okay now you can say uh, what the kind of material in this bag made of misalnya kamu membeli tas misalnya kamu menanyakan uh, tas itu buatan dari apa apakah kulit plastik atau kain Okay, what is it made of? You can say it's made of, of skin of the animal. It's made of, of plastic. Uh, what's about the method of the payment? Can I pay by credit card? Can I pay in case? Okay, kalau pakai credit card, itu pakai kartu. Sedangkan kalau cash itu, bayar secara tunai atau langsung. Okay, but uh, in commonly, most of people use, can I pay by in cash? Okay, and then you can say, uh, how about 50,000 rupiah? If you think that something is too expensive, you can say uh, the price lower than uh, the sub assistant say. Okay, and then you can say, can you make it 50% off? That means you are going to take a discount. The last one of this expression, yes, here they are. Or that, here is the small one. This is about the size. And the more the la it's made of later, uh, or we take a credit card. Okay, that's about the uh, bargain of or something. Okay, I think about the, uh, I think enough about the bargaining. Okay, we have we have just finished three topics. Remember, three topics: invitations, uh, sorry, compliment, and bargaining. Mana, what, what is that? Uh, invitation mengundang, compliment memuji, dan bargaining uh, menawarkan menawar sesuatu. When you buy something in the market or maybe in something else, someone somewhere else. Okay, now.
The fourth topic is expressing certainty. Okay, it's expressing certainty. Are you sure then John is coming soon? Itu menanyakan uh, keyakinan atau untuk memastikan sesuatu. Yakin enggak? Uh, Paman John akan datang segera. Do you believe this is married? Okay, uh, apakah kamu yakin dia sudah menikah? Okay, you, you, maybe you look a beautiful girl and you are going to marry her. But exactly, he is just married. Okay, and then you ask your friends, you can say, Do you believe that she's married? I don't know, you can ask yourself. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, now the same responses you can say, uh, Yes, I'm quite sure. Yeah, saya yakin. Yes, I'm curtain. Saya yakin juga. Jadi itu artinya sama-sama meyakinkan. Kalau ini, it's doubtful. Itu artinya, you are not sure. Kamu tidak ya? Yakin. Jadi, untuk meyakinkan sesuatu itu, you can say, are you sure? Okay, you can say, do you believe? And that's the topic is depends on the conversation. Okay, you can say, are you sure? Or you can say, do you believe that? And the response is, you can say, I'm quite sure. Oh, yes, I'm 13. Okay, if you're not sure, you can say, it's the full. Okay, this is a very simple expression because it's just uh, uh, sure or not sure. Kertenti or akententi, itu saja. Jadi kalau untuk kertenti ini, ini adalah ekspresi untuk menanyakan keyakinan saja. Ini sangat very simple, ya. Okay, we have... It's a double. Okay. Um, so that's mean we just finished four topics. Invitation, compliment, bargaining, and certainty. And so that's the next topic. Alright. We are going to use a functional language of opinions, giving opinions, asking opinions. You can you say agree or disagree. Okay. Uh, I just want to say that this is our the last topic for this video. So that means we have five topics. How many topics? Five topics. Invitation, compliment, bargaining, authenticity, and opinions, opinions with agree and disagree. Okay, you can say, as far as I concert, in my opinion, from my point of view, that way I see that this is expression how to give opinion. And you can say, if you want to ask an opinion, you can say, what do you think of, maybe, what do you think of Mr. Amir? Ah, oh, in my opinion, in my view, Mr. Amir is, is a handsome teacher. Example, remember, just example, okay? Now, you can say, what do you see what I'm getting at of my score, in my opinion, or to my opinion, your score is too slower than you think. Okay, and maybe you can say, do you want to see what I mean? Personally speaking, I believe in. As well for me, that means you're giving opinion. And then after you, someone give your opinion, you just say, can you, you agree or disagree? I totally agree with you. I couldn't agree with you. Maybe example like this. Make it simple. What do you think of Mr. Amir? In my opinion, Mr. Amir is a handsome teacher. If you agree, you can say, I agree with you. But if you don't agree, ah, I'm afraid I disagree because I think Mr. Amir is not a handsome one. But it's the angry one. Example, okay? Now, let's check. Okay, giving opinion. In my opinion, blah, 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 blah. You can say that. In my view, blah, blah, blah. I think, blah, blah, blah. Okay? If you are agree, you can say, yes, that's what I have been thinking. I do agree with you. But if you don't agree, you can say, I don't think I agree, agree with you. I disagree with you. This is very the simple expression. But for another expression, you can say, what do you think? Do you see? Do you know? Do you agree? Would you like go along? Would you like agree with? 
What are you talking on that? Do you think that? This is another way how to asking opinions. And then you can say give opinions. As far as I concern, misalnya tadi kan, uh, what do you think of Mr. Amir? As far as I concern, Mr. Amir is a good teacher. Nah, jadi kalau nanti setuju, you can say, I totally agree with you. Kalau tidak, you can say, I don't agree with you. Just it. That's a very simple expression. The first one, you asking the opinion. Do you agree with me? If I go to Medan on this holiday, you can say, uh, from my point of view, okay, you can go to Medan. I, you are absolutely right. Kalau agree. Kalau tidak, you can say, I don't think so. I don't feel the same. Okay? The first one, you may be asking the opinion or giving opinion. The first one, you can asking. And the second one, you are giving. And then you agree or disagree. It's up to you. Okay? It's not a big problem. All right. Okay, before we going to the question for this video today, let's check it out again. Our topic today. Let's uh, give your feedback. Uh, okay, now let's check again. Okay, now, uh, our learning objects today, tujuan pembelajaran kita hanya adalah uh, expression of invitations, expression of bargaining, expression of certainty, expression of compliment, understanding of asking and giving opinion, and understanding of expression agree or disagreement. Now, let's check it out. We are going to talk about invitation. You can say invitation with let's go, would you like to come, would you like to go, and you can rest one with pleasure. Sure, I'm afraid I can. Okay, this is the some another way. Okay, and then it means you accept the invitation. Kamu menerimanya, and then decline invitation. Kamu menolaknya. Okay, this is example of the dialogue. We you can practice with your friends, and then the next expression is about the compliment. Itu artinya untuk memuji seseorang. Okay, and then this is the example of the dialogue. And then the next one, the third topic is about the bargaining for something. Okay? Menanyakan atau menawarkan harga if you want to buy maybe in the market or traditional market. You can say bargain, bisa menawarnya. Okay, kita menanyakan bagaimana uh, itu barang tersebut dari mana, harganya, ukurannya, it's up to you. You can say use this expression. Okay, and then uh, about the expression of the certainty, untuk menanyakan keyakinan. Okay, kemudian the last topic is about uh, giving opinions, asking opinions, and then this means after you asking and giving opinion, which one do you, which one you are on your side agree or disagree? It's up to you, okay? Okay, this is example. Okay, this is another way how to asking opinion, how to give opinion, how to agree and disagree opinion. Okay, guys. Okay, uh, I think enough about our video. Don't forget, there are five topics on this video. Please focus and read slowly. But if you don't understand about our video, you can ask in column comment. Okay, or column comment. But before we uh, close our video, here is your task. Okay, with the dialogue and then answer question. Now, there are five dialogues for this video and there are some expression for this dialogue. Okay, there are some expression of the dialogue. Maybe invitation, maybe compliment, maybe gardening, maybe bargaining, maybe cartenti or opinion. Asking opinion or keeping opinion or agree or disagreement. But after the, you read this dialogue, okay, please send your answer to the uh, comment column. Okay, there are five. And five later is the simple uh, dialogue too. Okay, there are five questions too. Okay, what is the greater going to buy? 
Nah ini, ini untuk membeli sesuatu. Berarti nanti ini akan memasukkan ekspresi offering and bargaining something. Okay, there are some expression in the dialogue too. If you are the diligent one, you can practice the dialogue before you going to answer this question. Okay, guys, there are five questions from dialogue one and five questions from dialogue two. Okay, and please answer the dialogue and practice the dialogue with your friends. I think it up today. Thank you for your attention and don't forget to write the, the answer. Okay, see you the next video. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.